Day 25. Saul, wake up. You are talking in your sleep, and it sounds like you are having another deadly nightmare. Saul, wake up and now. Nurses, bring the other patients back to life. Saul, wake up. Oh my God! What just happened to me? My head is in extreme pain, like I have been shot in the head. Does anyone have any aspirins? Dr. Mio, talk to the patients and ask them if they can remember what happened last night. To be honest with you, I cannot remember what happened in my lucid dreams, except for some guy that was on a stage saying he wanted to become the next president of the USA, and the next thing that I remember. We were being surrounded by the Illuminati Mafia gang with the USA machine guns, and they shot P1 when he tried to run away from them. After that, I have no recollection of anything. But now my head feels like I have a hollow point bullet stuck in my brain. Thanks, Doc. Cough. Cough, cough. The right type of medication for my brain cells. Cough. Cough, cough. Do you know, Doc, when I smoke? It brings me back memories of what happened last night, but also when I'm stoned. I love to tell stories to the world about my experiences in life. Cough. Cough, cough. That smoke was to make me remember the good times that I saw while being alive. USA And how the pigs are able to slaughter humans for the Illuminati and be able to get away with their murderous crimes. I was living in Peru when the president of Peru tried to overthrow the Congress and create his new laws for the Peruvians to obey, like how he forced everyone in Peru to take the deadly COVID shots and get the COVID vaccine passport, or you could not go nowhere to buy food, nor could you even travel without a vaccine passport. The Congress threw the president in jail and put a woman as their president. All of Peru went into chaos and they shut down the major highways and airports. So the new president, she ordered the soldiers to step in and the police were ordered to kill anyone who protested against her orders of curfew. Hundreds of innocent Peruvian protesters died on the streets in only a few days. Then everyone in Peru took onto the streets with hundreds of thousands of people marching on the roads and shutting down Peru for many days at a time demanding the head of the she-president while calling her murderous dog on banners that was three lanes long. Ha ha. Cough. Cough, cough. As the thousands of Peruvians walked by me, I just stood there in awe while smoking my life away. Thinking how the people of Peru rule their nation. Cough. Cough, cough. Months went by, and there were days that went by, and I was not able to purchase any type of food. One day I woke up, and there were hundreds of police on the streets, and not one police officer had a gun or rifle in their possession, like they had before, for their protection. I walked up to the Peru police for many days, saying that I wished that I could see all of the police around the world, have their deadly weapons taken away from them too, so they could never kill again. To save many lives upon this earth. And the looks on the police's faces. Ha ha. Priceless. With a few evil laughs. Ha ha. And all of the protesters in Peru stopped the protesting on the streets until there was another presidential election. I just hope the Peruvians do not have to experience the nightmare that your patients and I had to experience last night, Dr. Mio. Cough. 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 I wish all of USA could hear about what I dreamed last night. I need to take a hot shower and eat something, so I'll talk to you tonight. I need to rest to see if this headache goes away. If not, I will not be able to do any experiments tonight, okay? So, before you leave, Merry Christmas from all of us. We love you, Soul, for you giving us your body, mind, and soul for all of us to explore in. No one on earth will get to ever experience this except Dr. Mio's patients. It is like having the best Christmas present on earth to experience in life. And how we are all so blessed for you to be alive still. Here's to our health. Salute everyone with a bottle of tequila that Dr. Mio gave us to celebrate Christmas on. It is Christmas today. Merry Christmas to everyone. NP5, it is a pleasure that all of you are able to share my lucid dreams in life. Cough. Cough, cough. Here is to a merry white Christmas to everyone. Cough. Cough, cough. Cough. Cough, cough. Cough. Cough, cough. Damn you, Saul. 
Go blow your white Christmas smoke outside and not in our faces. Cough, cough, cough. Humbug to your smoky merry white Christmas. Cough, cough, cough. I need to get some fresh air. I will see everyone later tonight. And please, try to not get drunk today. The tequila is 75% alcohol. There is no stronger tequila on earth. It is nice to have friends all around the world who sends me special gifts in life. Remember patience, the more friends you have in life, the better quality of life that you will experience in life. Merry Christmas to all of you. And thanks Saul for allowing my experiments to go on. Like P5 said, It is the best Christmas presents that I can ever have in life too. Reading about your lucid dreams and your lucid nightmares. I hope one day, I too will be able to see and feel what my patients are experiencing in life. This would be something to really talk about in life. Good afternoon everyone and I hope that all of you are feeling better with no headaches. Now Saul, I did speak to the other patients and they are also experiencing major headaches as if they have been shot in the head with a bullet. Now, P6 remembers what happened to all of you. The CIA, FBI and the New York police murdered all of you in cold blood. Each one of you were shot in the head. Saul, if your lucid dream becomes reality one day, we as humans will never be free again. We need a new government that wants to take care of the citizens instead of running around like if their heads are cut off thinking that they can go kill anyone that they would like to. And they are above the lawless laws, because they were the ones who wrote their laws for us to obey, but not for them to obey. The CIA, FBI and the New York police have no remorse for other lives, while they lie and put innocent people into prisons, so they can reach their quota each day, or to silence someone, because he or she is too famous and could ruin their government's careers. P6 also mentioned that the man who was running for the USA presidential elections was beheaded and his head. His head was mounted on top of the flagpole, while the USA flag was turned upside down and was hung at half-mast in the New York Central Square. To show the world, do not mess around with the Illuminati's Republican and Democratic parties. Because these corrupt evil politicians want to become the rulers of the world. So, if Saul's lucid nightmares happen, then what is next in life as the Illuminati's law enforcement servants, ILES, will have the right to kill anyone they want to now, and the Illuminati USA government's judges will cover up ILES killing sprees. Just like how they did to the Illuminati USA soldiers, after the USA soldiers killing parents and children with USA drones. The Illuminati want their new world order and they will not stop at anything to be able to conquer the world. But as I look at your lucid dreams that you are having now, Saul, what an impact on the world this is going to have. If China can conquer the USA and Russia, then will they become the rulers of the world themselves? instead of the Illuminati's mentally ill Joe Biden ruling the world. Sounds like all of the presidents around the world are terrorists to me. Especially when Joe seems that he cannot even speak English. Because Biden only speaks a jibber-jabber language. That the world cannot even understand what creepy Joe is saying. But he does jabber a lot to children while he sniffs their hair. Sounds creepy to me. I can see why Joe Biden got his name, Creepy Joe. Ha ha. Cough. Cough, cough. The smoke was helping my headache to go away. Until after what I've just heard about how Creepy Joe got his name. Thanks, it gave me the worst headache than I have ever woken up with. Cough. Cough, cough. 
Does anyone want their headaches to disappear too? Like how we disappeared last night, for no reason at all except for being bystanders. Cough. Cough, cough. What type of Nazi society has the Illuminati government created for the people to be hating each other, while they are living in fear each day from dying in the bloody hands of Isles? Even having to fear the Isles who are supposed to serve and protect the citizens, while the FBI, CIA, and the police are wanting to kill innocent victims on the streets. We have nowhere to live now. Cough. Cough, cough. No wonder people are fleeing their nations after the USA and England government have invaded them. Matter of fact. Cough. Cough, cough. No wonder the USA citizens are fleeing their own nation, which is the USA Illuminati's nation, and moving to Mexico and South America, where at least they have some freedom to feel like they are human, instead of feeling like they are a slave and living inside a prison, as the Trump wall surrounds them from leaving the USA borders. Just like how the Jews felt, while dying in Nazi, Germany. Cough. Cough, cough. Hey guys, I am getting tired, so I need to go to sleep. So, what is on the agenda for tonight, Dr. Mio? I just hope it will not be the Illuminati serial killer servants that will be killing all of us again. Listen, does everyone want to rest tonight? And call it a day. Since all of us woke up with a major headache? Or was it the tequila that I drank this morning for Christmas that is giving me this headache? P6. No, P5. I do not have a headache like you do, but my head and face feels like I was hit with a bat. I think that there is a new world war going on, and it is not the Chinese war that we should be worried about. I think that we need to go to war with the Illuminati government instead. Some might think that we are going on a suicidal mission by joining the Chinese. But the Chinese are only fearing for their lives. They have seen what the USA and England Illuminati government has done to Syria, Libya, Iraq, and Afghanistan as all of these nations now lay in ruins after the England Americans viciously attacked these nations. China is doing what any animal on earth would do, if they are being attacked and are about to die. The animals will go for the throat to kill their victims. China is going after the USA and England's jugular veins. I do not want to see the Illuminati have their one world order, so that they can have their one world government. George Bush could not have said it any better for all of us to understand who the Illuminati really are. He stated in a worldwide speech on national TV after George, the FBI, CIA, and George's Illuminati but buddies demolished the Twin Towers in a demolition with acts of intent to commit war crimes against Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria, just to conquer and extract their nation's wealth of fossil fuel oil and Earth's minerals. Bush Jr stated in his worldwide speech. Either you are with the Illuminati government, or you are with the terrorists. After George's speech to the world, I became a terrorist that day, because I had no other choice to become one, or to become a sponsor to murder for the Illuminati government. Now, the war-torn orphans around the world have no way to protect themselves from the CIA, FBI, or the USA and England soldiers' bloody hands. Nor can we not even protect ourselves from these legal serial killers with their bloody weapons. So, how can we win a war and convince the FBI, the CIA, and the USA armed forces to drop down their weapons, to kill and to serve no more for their Illuminati government? So, I want to be able to soul travel again in your lucid dreams. I want to see what the next moves are that the USA Illuminati government will be doing with China. We cannot let the USA Illuminati win a war that they have been fighting for many centuries, since the day they left Egypt trying to conquer the world with their new world order ideology. Enough with the bullshit. It is time to fight back. Do all of you agree with me? Losing my soul's brain into pieces all over the road last night? Did not go very well for me, nor do I think it went well for all of you too. Now what? Any suggestions, Dr. Mio? Listen, my intentions in these experiments was not to be going to a war with anyone, especially against the evil governments that have snuffed out their own citizens for speaking up against them. But to be able to snuff out the USA president, who wanted to get rid of the world's central bankers and the CIA. 
and these Illuminati serial killer servants were able to wash their bloody hands and get away with the greatest murder on earth while assassinating JFK on live TV. We are dealing with the devil himself, and it is impossible to defeat the devil, especially if he is the one who rules over your soul. Just like what the USA Illuminati government wants to do with your body and soul. No, Dr. Mio, it is not impossible to defeat the devil or is it impossible for me to be able to defeat the Illuminati government. I've defeated the devil many years ago, and once I die. I will sit on the left-hand side of my God, because I will have taken over the devil's job. This is why I do not fear the CIA, the FBI, the Illuminati, and not even the humans or animals upon this earth. Matter of fact, I do not even fear my God, knowing what he can do to me but also what my God can do to my soul. Which I know that the CIA and the FBI are able to touch my body anytime that they want to. But, that SKS will never be able to touch my soul, for eternity. Though, I will be able to touch their souls anytime that I want to, in the burning pits of hell, forevermore. This is where fear, becomes fear itself. When my soul, will be looking into my soul's red eyes of fire. The FBI and the CIA only protect and serve a bunch of mentally retarded human beings who has been interbred with each other's bloodline. Only to be able to keep their only bloodlines, to be able to rule over the American citizens, and the Illuminati are so mentally retarded that they think they can rule over the world. And all of them being molesters. This is a proven fact, this is what they do to children, and this is how they get their politicians to obey each word that they tell them what to do to take our constitution away from us or they will go to jail until the sun stops shining upon the different colored assholes. Okay Saul, you have provided your vivid point to us. I would hate to see your soul's red eyes in hell. This is going to be a lucid nightmare for the Illuminati, the CIA and the FBI to be fearing inside for eternity. I would hate to have my soul be in their fiery shoes and having no place to run forevermore. So, are there any volunteers tonight who are daring enough to want to spend the night in the burning pits of hell with Saul's soul? Haha, ha, all of you again. Okay, prep up and get ready to die again for mankind's sake. Saul, thanks for wanting to go on with my experiments. I do hope it does pay off one day and you get your revenge on what you have been seeking for. All of your life. Cough. Cough, cough. Revenge. What revenge, Dr. Mio? I let my God do my vengeance for me. I never try to get revenge on others, why? So bad karma can hit me right in the face. No, thank you. This is why I just sit back and watch others get hurt by my God. Like how my God has hurt me many times in my life to get me to do the things God wants done in life. No need for more pain in my life. But, Saul, God is love. I think that you are worshipping the wrong God. Cough. Cough, cough. Oh my God. Ha ha. God is of love. Look all around you. Where do you see God's love? In the wars that the Illuminati have created. In the oil spills that lay all over the earth, from the oil company's lack of respect towards God's earth. I see millions of children dying in the hands of the bloody governments. Where is God's love for his children? You do not know my God the way I know my God. He is a jealous God. My God is a vicious God who has no remorse for his creations. If God was of love, no wars would exist upon this earth. The Catholics worship not my God, they only worship idols who will listen to their prayers and who answers their prayers. This is why they do not worship the God who created them. Because they also know, God is of no love. God is of no use to them. This is why they do not worship my God, but only worship their idols, who've answered their prayers with miracles. The ones who worship idols are rich in life. The ones who worship my God, are poor in life. Because my God never gives them money to become rich. My God is only of hate, once you turn your back, against him. Now, why do I say my God is not a her? I heard God's voice for many months many years ago, until I turned my back against him. I lost everything in life in a matter of weeks. 
My God is not of love, nor does my God forgive. Soul. Your soul is going to burn in hell forever for believing like this about our God. Cough. 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 Ha ha. P5. This is why I do not fear my God, even knowing what God can do to my soul. Look at all the scars that were left all over my body, from what my God has done already to my body, trying to make a believer out of me, by making me try to fear my Creator. I spoke to my God many times. And God has spoken back to me many times, and God has showed me things to make a believer out of me, knowing that there is a God alive, who created everything that is living upon this earth, but yet. I still refused to fear my God or what God can do to me or to my soul. God has tried his best to put the fear of God inside me, from broken bones to near-death experiences, and yet. Not one time in my life have I feared the face of death or the extreme pains that were posed upon my body by my God. Cough. 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 I take that back. I have seen the face of death many times in my life, right before I almost died, but one day. I was on LSD in the mountains with some friends on one of my birthdays, and I witnessed the face of death's skull and bones appear from within a black cloud, after the sun engulfed all of her nine planets back into her belly star. Which sent me to my knees and hands, making me pray for the forgiveness of my sins, to see such a terrifying thing, about our star's extinction, right before my red eyes. This was the only time that I have ever been scared of something, in my entire life. Trust me, I have had many close death experiences before and seen my life flash right before my eyes in a split second. True story to make one think about for the rest of their lives. Time for bed. Good night everyone, I hope to see you tomorrow morning. And if your patients want to join in on my lucid dreams again, buckle them up safely. I think after tonight's lucid dreams. Other souls will be trying to soul travel with us to see where my next lucid dream will lead our souls to. Hopefully, only to be seeing the Illuminati's wars ending around the world. Good night, nurses. It looks like everyone is dead as a door name. Like how I would wish others would be. Since my patients are convinced into believing it is right to fight against the Illuminati government's new world order. Cough. 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 Why is the earth dead? There is nothing alive, not even a fly in the sky as I stand inside a nuclear dust cloud that circles all around us. I ask myself one question in life. Where did the water of the earth evaporated to? Take a look all around you as the fish have dried up in dry lake beds. The fishermen are starving to death because they have nothing to eat from their fishing nets. And as each winter passes by you, not one raindrop from the sky will never be found again. For all the water that was once surrounded you, now lays deep inside the earth where the oil once laid. For everything was once of value, now everything is turned into dust from where it came from. The forests that once surrounded us were cut down from the earth. And what trees that were left to waste? Withered away into the dust. Just like how each human will die the same way. Just like how the weather does not rain from the sky to this day. But take a look around you as things are about to die. For no more water flows into the rivers, nor will the streams come back to life. And as the oil companies drill deeper for oil, more water disappears from our eyes. As the oil will be removed forever by using Earth's water that will not keep our Earth alive. Surely, all of us humans will one day die once the Earth dries up and gives up her life. Soul, nice poem. I did not know you was a poet. Where is the greenness of the Earth that once laid below our feet? There is not even a fly in the sky that once invaded our lives. Where are the birds that once flew in the sky? Where are the plants that once gave us our life? Where are the lakes that once surrounded the mountains below? Where is the snow that once gave its earth's growth? Where are the ice caps that once covered the mountains year-round? Where are the rivers that once flowed down the mountains and into the lakes below the clouds? Why has everything on earth died that was once thriving alive? Do you really think that the oil companies did this to our earth as we are about to die? If so, how can we be standing here right now, and still be alive? Soul, are we dead too, and do not know it? Or is this a dream for others, to try to survive in life? Cough. 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 P6, no. I am no poet, but it sounds like you are trying to become one. Ha ha. P6 and the rest of you. 
Your souls are standing here with me, and yes. All of you are dead like the face of the earth that has died off and gone extinct forever. Just like what happened to the dinosaurs. One day all of our souls will turn back into the star dust from where our souls came from. What you see is the future of our earth. And there is nothing that none of you can do to stop it, but only watch our souls become part of the star dust, once our star implodes and her death becomes an eternity, for other aliens to witness in the stars. Okay soul, WTH is going on with you and your words. I think you better snap out of it and get us the hell out of here, before our souls do die, by standing here. Matter of fact, take some hits to clear up your mind and figure out why all of us are standing in the middle of nowhere. Not even where a fly is to be seen. Cough. 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 Good idea, P5, and great to have you aboard the sinking ship in the middle of the Sahara Desert sand. Cough. 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 Okay, I can see much clearer now, but I still have no idea why all of us are standing here and where are we going to go. The entire world looks dead to me. Soul, look at the sand. Does it not look like glass beads to you? Cough. 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 P5, it sure does, I wonder why. I remember the video about a place in the Sahara Desert, and only one part of the earth looked as if it was scorched by a nuclear bomb. But this glass desert that we are standing on goes on as far as our naked eyes can see. Where is the original sand that once covered the cities? Could the humans have had a nuclear world war for? Cough. 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 Why am I so hungry? It seems that I haven't eaten in weeks. Guys, why do I feel like I am having deja vu over and over again every day? Coughing and getting hungry, but it seems that I never get fed. Oh, look P6. There are some cockroaches. Something on earth is alive still. Soul, are you still hungry? There were nations that feasted upon cockroaches, and it is something better than Bill's green eggs and imitation ham. Ha ha. Haha, ha. the only living creatures left on earth are these cockroaches and us. Soul, what is on your mind? You look puzzled right now, staring at that cockroach like if it was a chicken. Cough. Cough, cough. Yes, that cockroach is big enough to eat, and yes, some nations did eat roasted cockroaches. I could eat a horse right now, but a cockroach. But speaking about cockroaches, I remember that I was taught in the Illuminati government school, the only living thing that will live through a nuclear holocaust will be the cockroach. Guys, do you think we are standing in a nuclear war zone? So, what else could scorch the face of the earth like this? Could it be caused by some comet? We better get walking before sunset, and does anyone have any flashlights? P6, who cares if we have a flashlight, because look over there. It looks like it will be a full moon tonight, but really guys? The earth looks the same, so which direction do we go? My dad always told me if you ever get lost, follow towards the sunset. It will always lead you to paradise. Cough. Cough, cough. So let's go that direction. Haha, <laughs> was your dad talking about the northern star to follow instead? But there are so many satellites shining in the heavens, it is now almost impossible to tell the northern star from the rest of the artificial stars shining around our Earth. Cough. 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 Are my red eyes deceiving me, since it is getting darker? Are those city lights flickering or are they Elon's artificial stars in the horizon sky? Hard to tell these days. Who knows, soul? We have nothing better to do, so why not walk that way? Oh, yeah. The closer we get, it does look like it is your dad's paradise that is on the horizon sky. Hey guys, didn't I have a lucid nightmare, and we were on quicksand, and did we all die right here? It does look like that we are standing in the same area as before, so. How did the quicksand dry up into crystallized glass? Damn, I am having deja vu, but yet things are different from before, am I right? Cough. Cough, cough. Or is it the marijuana that is fogging up my thoughts? No, Sol. The smoke is actually clearing up your mind. I forgot all about me dying in quicksand. Why did you have to bring up my terrifying nightmares that I've had with you, again? But yes, we are at the same place as you thought. Cough. 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 Boy, I am glad someone remembered. 
I need to take a break and eat, but what? It looks like we have hours to go to make it to paradise. Did anyone bring some food with them? Cough. Cough, cough. Ha ha, so you have room in your pockets for marijuana, but you do not have any room for any snacks. What type of stoner are you? I thought everyone who smokes carries something sweet in their pockets to share with other stoners. Cough. Cough, cough. Not the stoner, but what a nice idea. Thanks man for sharing. Ha ha, I remembered in high school I always had candy to give to the ones that I adored. And I always got what I wanted from these young ladies. Those were the good old days to remember. Cough. Cough, cough. Especially getting stoned in the Illuminati classrooms, ha ha. I always sat behind the most beautiful ladies in school because it seemed that they were the smartest in school. I would ditch school all week and when it was time for the exams, I sat next to the smartest girls, gave them a bag of skittles, and was able to copy from the tests. Matter of fact. Cough. Cough, cough. I got straight A's and never learned one word that the Illuminati government was teaching to the children. Ha ha. Cough. Cough, cough. This was how smart I was in the Illuminati schools. Cough. Cough, cough. Hey soul, here is a sign that says, Welcome to the Utopia Nation. The only nation on earth to be free. The Utopia Nation. I thought this was an imaginary nation to live at. Why have I not heard of a free nation like this upon this earth? Look at the mansions made of marble. Bars that are made from the glass desert. Restaurants with copper tables and chairs. And the luscious flowering parks. This looks like a nation where only the wealthiest can live. The children are running on the streets as free as they can be. Where are the parents at? To protect their children from the Illuminati's child protection servants from stealing their children away from them. So, it looks like the parents are sitting in the bars, restaurants, and the outdoor cafes. Enjoying a life that I wish to be enjoying right now. Plus, to get to know the local folks. Ha ha. B6. Are you dreaming again? The Illuminati's brainwashed societies are deathly afraid to accept colored strangers into their local towns. Cough. 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 I cannot believe how many nationality restaurants there are in this little nation. And boy am I getting hungry walking so long in the glass desert, but for me to be seeing all of these different nationality restaurants from around the world to choose from. Cough. 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 You can spend months eating different food from around the world in this utopia nation. Guys, take a look at the water fountains flowing in the central park. When I was a child, I would run and jump in the park's ponds as my parents were chasing all around the parks trying to catch me. This utopia nation. I wonder who architect and constructed this paradise nation for nationalities from around the world to live upon. Cough. 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 I wonder if marijuana is legal and sold in the local stores. If so, you guys can go home without me. I am going to die here in this utopia nation one day. Come on, let's go find a place to chill out for a while to get off our feet. Matter of fact, I wonder what the beers from around the world tastes like in utopia nation. Cough. 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 Screw the beers, P5. Where's the smoke that is grown around here? Now that is something that I want to taste in life. Ha ha. Cough. 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 Hey guys. Does anyone see any killer pigs on the streets or any servant soldiers killing the children? This is impossible. Hello miss, can I please ask you a question? I can. Thanks. My name is Soul and these are my close soulmates and I was wondering. What are the odds of me not to be seeing fat piglet officers who are asking the civilians for their ID as I walk the streets around the world, and yet? I think that my entire life, I have only been in one town where there are no fat piglets eating donuts on the streets. The people of the town are the police themselves, so there are no crimes that are committed. Because of the trust everyone has towards each other, as each other shares what they have in life to stop thievery in that town. Can you please explain more about your utopian nation? Saul, my name is Atora, and it is a pleasure to meet all of you in our utopian nation. So that you folks can get to know me better? 
I was born in a nation that was conquered by the USA and England Illuminati, and years later, the Chinese conquered our nation by bribing our president to allow China to build our infrastructures within our nation. But once our nation could not repay the national debt back to China. China secretly took over our nation's infrastructures, and by doing this, they were controlling our nation, without one bullet, being shot. Once China took over my nation, our people became slaves to the Chinese government, while they provided us with very little food or water to survive on inside the Chinese labor camps. When we were controlled by England? Sure, we were also slaves being forced by the IRS lawless thieves to pay the two-thirds of our earnings in taxes. Which the taxes were supporting the Queen's family's lavage life. But at least we had jobs that paid well to support our family. But, when that day that the Chinese flags raised into the air and were flung over our nation. We were peasants working for the Queen, but with China, we became China slaves while working in the rice fields, supporting the Chinese government. My nation had no means to be educated or internet to educate my nation into becoming productive in life, to make our nation grow. So one full moon night, like tonight, my family and I along with hundreds of families from around the world, who were captured by the Chinese soldiers and turned into Chinese slaves. We fled into the desert that China nuked with their Chinese bionuclear bombs that wiped out the cities who did not want to be ruled by China. Sounds just like the USA and England Illuminati, right? As you may have noticed, the sand here is now glass, from the chain reaction that was caused by the Chinese bionuclear explosions. Our utopian nation has no government to tell us what to do, nor a president to tell us what to do. As you've noticed, there are no police to tell us what to do or a politician that can tell us what to do. We do not even have a money currency here, everything's traded and bartered for what we need in life. We have no church here, because we have our freedom, to be able to believe in no religions, nor do we even have a jail, nor a judge who can judge us. You like to smoke marijuana, right Sol? Nothing is illegal in Utopia Nation, but no one does drugs, or drinks alcohol, or even smokes here, why? We have nature to get us high every day in life, but? No one is stressed out to rely on some type of stimulant to shut down their government's crap that they force upon their citizens' brains every day. I really think this is why people who live in the USA, Mexico, and the rest of the world are addicted to drugs and alcohol. They are tired of living in a place that is hell that the governments have created for them to die in, simple as that. Hey, it was nice to have met all of you. By the way? There is a dance tonight where the Utopian Nation joins in to dance, and you folks are more than welcome to join in on the dances tonight. Every year on the same date we have this celebration, so remember to come back next year, okay? And you might ask why, on this date each year? Our nation does not celebrate Christmas, because after the mark of the beast that was opposed upon every human on earth, except the ones who now live on Utopia Nation. The Christians waited for a person named Jesus Christ to come and save them, before the mark of the beast was opposed upon the humans to buy or sell with. Once the years went by, and everyone went through tribulation, and Jesus Christ never showed up to save us. I was told a story by my dad, who said he met an ancestor of Mary Magdalena, and the stories that were told from her, Jesus was Mary Magdalena's love partner, and they had children together. Which the Queen of England's bloodline was the blood of Jesus Christ. We do not celebrate Christmas, which is tonight. But on this day many years ago, was when we escaped the Chinese labor camps, as the Chinese thought that we would be celebrating Christmas instead. I hope that your nation will never allow the Chinese to come in and build your nation for you. I meant, the Chinese building their new nation for them. Nice to meet you and your sister too, Itora, and thanks for explaining about your nation and tonight. I wish I had a hemp tuxedo to wear for this special occasion, and for sure we will be there, and I hope to see you too there tonight. What a sweet Native American Indian Itora is, I wish the world had more ladies who are just like her. So, does anyone want to go dancing tonight? Ha ha, all of you do. Okay, let us find a restaurant to eat dinner, and why not go dancing tonight? We have nothing better to do in life, but to dance our lives away. Cough. Cough, cough. Well, I think that I will smoke my life away instead, because I am too old to be dancing on the streets at night. Cough. Cough, cough. But hell, 
Why not shake up my boots in the desert sand and have some fun for once in my life, with all of you in it? Hey Soul, it looks like the only restaurant tonight that is open is over there. Should we go there to eat? Cough. Cough, cough. I wonder what is on the foreign menu tonight. Cough. Cough, cough. It sure feels good to know that I can smoke marijuana here and not get arrested. Cough. Cough, cough. And I bet in this utopia nation, everything is organic and fresh food to eat. And food from around the world. It is sure making my stomach growl right now thinking about the taste of foreign food right now. Cough. Cough, cough. Hey Soul, how hungry are you tonight? Because the only things that are on this menu is... Yes, you guessed right. Bill's green eggs and imitation ham. Haha, ha, what the hell are you dreaming about in life? To have everything on the menus being the same thing each night. And it is Bill's green eggs and imitation ham. Haha, ha, now what so? Starve to death? Cough. Cough, cough. Here, Piggy Wiggy, come over here. I want a hot dog tonight for dinner. Cough. Cough, cough. Are you joking me, guys? Bill's green eggs and imitation ham. WTF is going on. I guess my god wants me to starve to death, like his war-torn orphans of this world. Enjoy your meals, guys. I'm going to walk around to see if I can find something to eat. Cough. Cough, cough. Good thing that I do not see any dogs or cats on the streets of Utopia Nation, or I would have to become a Chinese man. Cough. Cough, cough. Damn, I am so hungry right now. I wonder why. Cough. Cough, cough. Hey Soul, did you find anything to eat yet? Those Bill's green eggs and imitation ham were the best that I ever had. You missed out on the best green GMO meal in town. I heard the dances in Liberty Park, which is over this direction. I have never been to a dance before where the entire nation goes to dance. I wish that I had a bottle of Jose Cuervo tequila to share with the crowd. Oh, that's right. No one in this utopian nation drinks. What a bummer. In Mexico, yes. Time to go switch parties. Let's go to Mexico tonight. There in Mexico, we can drink on the streets on Christmas night. Ha uh ha. -huh. No thanks. I have seen every festival in Jalisco, Mexico. Plus, I cannot smoke on the streets anymore in Mexico, or I will get thrown in jail again. Cough. Cough, cough. OMG, look at the millions of people dancing here. I have never seen a dance like this in my entire life. Everyone looks so happy, even the children look like they have been dancing all of their lives. Cough. Cough, cough. A high to remember for the rest of my life. Which way do we go guys? Where do we go, for our first dance together? So, look all around you, at the different colors of the human skin. Look at the colors of the people's hair and eyes. It looks like every nationality from around the world is dancing here tonight. Are we dreaming that the world's nationalities have intermingled with each other to become one nation upon this earth? Just like what the Illuminati did to the Native American Indians nation before the Illuminati slaughtered every nationality with Bill's deadly GMO vaccines? Are we in the USA, but looking into the future after the humans got their heads out of their asses and executed the Illuminati and their demon-crat and reptilian servants for national and international war crimes? Impossible for us to be in the USA right now. We would be seeing the piglet police right now arresting everyone for being happy in life. Cough. 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 I wish this night could go on forever, but guys we need to go before something bad happens to Utopia Nation like Chinese drones dropping bombs upon us again. This is the biggest dance on earth, one that I wish the entire world could dance to, too. Which way to get out of paradise? Cough. 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 I need to find a nation that does not sell bulls green eggs and imitation ham. Cough. 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 I am so hungry, and now I know why. So, it looks like we need to walk this way to leave paradise. That utopia nation? How I wish every nation on earth was exactly like that place. So, what now? Cough. 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 P6, it is time to conquer the world like the Illuminati are doing, 
but for us to create the new utopia world order, like what we saw tonight. How so? Cough. Cough, cough. Well guys, this is our plan for tonight, on how I will conquer the world. But let me take another hit to envision what I need to do, to make the impossible happen. Cough. Cough, cough.